Hi, the purpose of this video is to introduce the CMS Summer Reading Program for 2020. So for 2020, we are going to do things a little bit differently than how we've done the summer reading in the past. Instead of asking everyone to read one specific book from a list, we are going to ask you to choose a book from a category. So the categories are community and social justice, health and sports, animals and the outdoors, arts and creativity, or history and conflict. So there's several options of how you can do this reading. You can either choose a book from a specific list of books, which I will show you in a moment. You can read a book that's not on the list, but one that fits in one of the categories, maybe a book that you have at home or a book that you get um, from the library or, or some other way. It's okay to listen to a book on an, um, an audio book through Sora or some other audiobook uh, streaming service. You could watch a YouTube video of one of your teachers reading one of the books from the book list, and I'll show you which ones those are in a moment as well. Or you can listen to one of the podcasts listed in the book list. Some frequently asked questions to, to talk about. Um, how do you get the books? There are multiple different ways. You can either get the book from either the CMS library or the public library. And those books could be, um, we are doing a one-time book checkout for uh, the summer. So there are some of the books will be available that way, or you can listen to the books online um, via an audiobook, or try to get them from the Burnham Memorial Library or some other public library, um, or, or whatever way you wanna get one of the books. Um, it could be something that you have at home. It could be something you borrow from a friend. There are lots of different ways. Um, as I have mentioned as well, you could listen to one of the books being read to you. Um, each category has a book that is available uh, via YouTube. If you don't do the reading over the summer, for example, if it is just, this has been a very, very stressful time for everybody as we realize, if it was way too much um, and you need a break for the summer and it's something that is just not gonna be possible for you, that's okay, we can get you caught up in the fall. Um, um, it's definitely better if you do the reading in the summer. The whole point of the summer reading program is to try to keep students academically engaged um, so that you don't slide backwards in your um, reading skills that you've been developing over the summer. Um, but if, if it's not possible for you, then it is okay. Uh, when do you have to finish the book? We will have a date in the fall. It's usually around the end of September. The way that works is we will gather in groups on one day in the fall and have sort of a reading group. And the reading groups this year will be based on um, the category instead of the specific books. So you won't have people that are meeting together just to talk about one book. You'll be meeting to talk about, say, for example, everyone who did sports in the outdoors might get together in a group and everybody who did history and conflict might get together in a group. And there could be more than one group for some of those categories. And that's how we're going to do the um, book groups this year. Um, if we don't come back to school right away, or if we have to come back in some other um, capacity in the fall, we can do these books um, virtually. We can do them online via Google Meet if we need to. To prove that you've read the book, your language, art, this will count towards your first language arts um, assignment in the fall when you come back to school. So um, your language arts teacher will have requirements for you um, to prove that you've read the book. It will probably be a question list or something of that, of that nature, some sort of an assignment from your teacher. And if you wanna read more than one book on a topic, that's totally okay. We thought that there might be people who might want to read more than one book in the category and listen to the podcast and really kind of um, delve deeply into that topic. And that would be a really fantastic thing to do. This is the book list. It's going to be, um, it, it was included in Ms. Cote's email to families that went out on Friday. And um, so this is the second page of that document. And so you can see that the list has um, the categories, um, sort of the columns are the categories that I had listed, community and social justice, health and sports, animals in the outdoors, arts and creativity, and history and conflict. And when you look down the category, each um, 
each category has one book that's kind of a higher level or a young adult, like um, fiction. There's a nonfiction. There's middle two different middle grade fiction books. And then there is a, um, a short fiction, um, which is could be a short story, a novel in verse, or a graphic novel. And then there's a set of podcasts. So here are the books for um, community and social justice. Um, like No Other is more of a romance. Stamped is a really excellent nonfiction story. Uh, it's not a story. It's a really excellent nonfiction book about um, kind of very... Uh, similar to, to give you some information and background about the history of racism in America and kind of very timely right now because of what's going on. Chirp is a realistic fiction story of a girl who it's actually a girl who lives in Vermont. Um, so it's really cool. It takes place in Burlington. So there's a lot of things you might recognize. It's by Kate Messner who wrote, um, has written a lot of other books that are very popular at Colchester Middle School. So I think a lot of people really like that one. Roll With It and Front Desk are both books about some different sort of community issues um, and people that have some um, real struggles um, in their lives that they have to get past, which is um, very engaging. Health and Sports. These are all books that are, um, mo most of these are sports other than this this one, Don't Call Me Crazy, 33 Voices to Start the Conversation About Mental Health, is a series of essays and short stories written by some well-known authors and some um, not as well-known authors about a variety of different mental health issues. Um, Outcast United is another nonfiction book. It's a story of a refugee soccer team that came to, um, that was formed in a town. That's a soccer story. Uh, Black Brother, Black Brother is a story of um, two brothers who joined the fencing team in their school. And Planet Middle School is about a, um, a girl who's playing basketball. It's a novel in verse. And Heat um, is a baseball story uh, by, by Mike Lupica, very popular sports author. Animals in the Outdoors, lots of good adventure stories. Maine Wild is a series of short stories. It's by the same author who wrote all the Vermont Wild books. Very kind of funny and entertaining. A Dog's Purpose um, is a story um, that's been made into a movie a lot of people might recognize. Lost in the Amazon is a true story about uh, somebody who had to survive in the Amazon rainforest. And both Maniac McGee and The Season of Sticks Malone are kind of um, adventure stories about... Um, People who, um, Season of Six Malone is more of like a mystery-ish story and Maniac McGee is more um, sort of realistic fiction. Both of them have a, characters that have a lot of, kind of go through a lot of adventures during the story and very likable characters. I think you'll really enjoy them. Arts and creativity, there's a lot of variety here. The drawing lesson is a, a, actually a graphic, it's called the graphic novel that teaches you how to draw. It's really awesome. Um, book that kind of reads like a story, but it does a lot of um, teaching you about drawing. Um, Dread Nation is a um, kind of a historical retelling of um, history. What if the zombie apocalypse happened and what, what would um, the world be like? This is, this was our pact as a graphic novel fantasy story. Ranger's Apprentice is the first book our, our Ruins of Gorland is the first book in the Ranger's Apprentice series, which is um, kind of a fantasy adventure story. And then I Am Princess X is a really cool mystery story about um, a girl who um, draws, um, has, has created a kind of a graphic novel with a friend of hers. And um, well, I don't want to give too much away. It's a great story. And then History and Conflict, these are all historical fiction. So Spy Runner is a story about um, kind of the 1950s when there was um, a lot of people were worried that there were Russian spies hiding in um, in the country trying to take down the the country. The Boys Who Challenged Hitler is a true story of some um, boys in Denmark who actually um, the Nazis came and occupied their country and they um, f basically were uh, fighting back against the Nazis and kind of 
inspired a lot of adults to join the cause. White Bird is a new graphic novel by the same author who wrote Wonder. It is a, um, a World War II story. Ninth Ward is a story of um, the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina in um, 2005. The Downstairs Girl is a story that actually takes place in the 1890s about a Japanese-American girl who is running an advice column and um, experiences a certain amount of um, discrimination once they find out who is uh, writing the column. It's a very, uh, it's a new book. It's on the Green Mountain Book Award uh, list for this year. And those are the books. Certainly you could choose if you had a different, say, historical fiction novel or another book that fits into one of these categories, um, you could read that instead. And as always, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to get in touch with me via email. Um, and I would be happy to answer your questions and address any concerns that you might have.